Welcome, fellow Toastmasters. What is your purpose? Have you ever pondered that question? What are you here to do in this life on this planet? A couple of ways to approach that, meditation, journaling, even researching some of your interests might be a great way to reflect and understand and possibly get closer to your purpose. These three methods are things that have been helpful to me, but not as much as the method I'm going to share with you today. And the method I'm going to share with you applies to all areas of life. I'm going to start with Toastmasters since we're all Toastmasters here today. Let me take you on my Toastmasters journey. I joined my first club back in 2016. Over the course of my six month or so membership, which I, I didn't renew, I attended a total of three meetings. In 2017, I joined another club. I was a member there for about six months, but I managed to attend seven or eight meetings, had a little bit more fun. Finally, in 2018, I joined this club, Washington Park, and I've been an active member ever since. Initially, and uh, I think Oren and Bruce can speak to this, I didn't attend meetings that regularly. And I have valid reasons like travel, I wasn't in town, and sometimes not so valid reasons like it's cold outside. And when COVID hit, we switched to virtual meetings. There was no longer an excuse to not attend, so I did. When my attendance became more regular, I started to see more value in Toastmasters. Everything I was doing outside of Toastmasters could translate into a speech project, podcasts, blogs, all sorts of things. And as a result, I completed numerous speeches. I signed up for a second path in that period. I took on every meeting role at one point or another. And for those of you who've been with this club uh, before this year, this term, I took on multiple hats within one meeting as well. In 2021, I volunteered to be Sergeant at Arms. I was already good at Zoom meeting organization and so it made sense and it was easy for me to do. And in 2022, I was nominated to be president and I'm still serving in this role. And this year, I've also taken on the area director role. If you don't already know, every role you take on within the club or beyond the club in the area or in the district, these are volunteer roles. There's no financial compensation for your time, your effort, and your energy. And every one of these roles requires a lot of time, effort, and energy, including even pre presenting speeches. So if it's not for some sort of compensation, what other reason do you think I would have to take on these extra responsibilities? For me, that reason is purpose. And before I di dive into that, I'm curious, based on what I just uh, outlined, the trajectory and the history of my, my time within Toastmasters, can you identify what was the factor that was constantly increasing through this timeline? Participation and attendance. Yes, participation. With increased participation, I found a greater sense of purpose. And this purpose applies to everything within Toastmasters. I joined for my own personal growth to test my ability to deliver speeches to a non-dance audience. But as I increased my participation, I started to see how Toastmasters could be another avenue where I can pursue my purpose, which is empowering others. How? Taking on roles that involve reports and evaluations to provide constructive feedback to other members. Taking on speaking roles to share my experience and my speaking techniques taking on mentoring roles to guide and support other members in finding and expressing their voice, taking on officer roles to improve the quality of our meetings and support and encourage the progress of all of our members, and then taking on this district leadership role to share best practices and support other clubs in their pursuit of their club growth and member progress. The more I participate and get involved, the more I find ways to fulfill, to fulfill my purpose of empowering others. With each engagement, interaction, project, and opportunity, I grow. As I grow, so do my skills and experience. 
As a result, I have even more to offer and more ways to fulfill my purpose of empowering others. It's a beautiful cycle <laughs> of participation, growth, contribution, and purpose, each infinitely feeding into each other. So ask yourself today, what's your level of participation? Or better yet, how much do you want to grow and contribute? And how badly do you want to find and fulfill your purpose in life? Does your level of participation or will your future level of participation help you achieve that? If not, what will you change going forward? Thank you. Thank you.